So, hey guys, if you are getting low FPS while playing in 5M, after watching this video, your FPS issue will be fixed easily. In this video, I will tell you many steps so that it can fix your FPS problem in 5M, and if you have any queries or issues, you can ask them in the comment box or you can join my Discord server, there I can fix your issue with live voice support. So the first step is to clear your RAM memory with a Microsoft software named RAM app. By using this software, you can free up your RAM memory that is being used by some unwanted window applications. That can increase your FPS count by 5M. Download it from the link given in the description box. Now extract it using 7-Zip or WinRAR. Now here, open this application named RAM app. Wait for it to load. Then open your task manager. Go on performance, click on resource monitor, and here click on memory. Here you can see that my free RAM memory is very low. Now here in the RAMUP software, click on empty and empty all those memory sets. Now empty standby, modify, and use memory cache. You can see my free RAM memory size increases. You have to do this every time you are going to play on 5M. Let's move on to the second step. In the second step, we are going to change some NVIDIA control panel settings. Basically, if you are using the wrong NVIDIA setting, then it will also cause your FPS count to drop in 5M and in other games too. So here, open the NVIDIA control panel, click on Manage 3D setting, and now here, copy my NVIDIA setting to your NVIDIA control panel. You can pause the video to match my settings. Here, you choose your graphic card and make sure to prefer maximum performance in power management mode. Now, after matching all the settings, click on Configure Sound Physics. And here in the Physics setting, make sure you choose your graphic card in the processor column, as I have chosen my graphic card. So all we are done here. Now let's go to the next step. So in the third step, we are going to clear the temporary files from our PC. Most programs will create temporary files, even if they are not used. Make sure you always clear them whenever you are going to play 5M. So here, go to the Windows search bar, type run, and open it. Now here, type temp and hit enter. Now select all these files and permanently delete them using shift plus delete. Now again, go to the run command, type prefetch and hit enter. Also, select all these files and permanently delete them using shift plus delete. Now go to your Windows search bar, type delete temporary files, and click on it. Now go to temporary files, and here check all the boxes. Make sure if you have some important files in your download folder, then uncheck that box and then click on remove files. So now all your PC dump files are removed from your Windows. It will also help increase your FPS count. So here comes a bonus tip. Make sure your window defender or anti-malware service executive is turned off whenever you are playing on 5M. Because if it is on, then it will continue checking your PC for viruses in your background, which will cause more CPU and memory usage that will ultimately result in your game performance. You can manually turn it off when you are going to play on 5M and turn it on when you are going to close your 5M. You can watch my video by clicking the i button or the video link given in the description box of how to turn off window defender let's move to next step after following all the previous steps open your 5m when your 5m is open press the window button and open your task manager now go to details select 5m and then right click on it set priority to high and click change priority do the same for the 5M GTA process. Then close the task manager. Now go to the 5M setting. Click on game. And check this box fix UI lag at high GPU usage. And then restart 5M and connect to the server you want to play. Now, after joining a server, go to your game settings. Here. Go inside the graphic setting and copy the same graphic setting as mine shown in this video. 
and these settings will give you the best FPS as your GPU can. You can enable the V-Sync if you want smooth gameplay, or you can turn it off too. It all depends on your needs. So here you can see I am getting 100 frames per second on a server where more than 200 players are playing. So I hope this video is going to be really helpful for you guys. If yes, then give a like to this video and subscribe to Game and Tech with RDX.